Let's say we, we built an artificial neuron, right, that functioned exactly like the neurons in our brains. And you could therefore replace damaged brain tissue with artificial neurons that did everything they needed to do. So if you had a stroke and it damaged your language centers and you, you had aphasia after that, you, you couldn't produce speech or you couldn't understand speech, uh, imagine if you could go to the doctor and, and get new neurons, now artificial neurons, you know, not biological material, put in, in place of your damaged ones and imagine you recovered all of your faculties, right? Imagine you, you just, they worked, right? And so now your conscious experience was uh, returned to its old character with these new neurons. Well, once you know they work, well then you can just replace all your ailing and aging neurons with these, these silicon uh, replacements. And um, imagine if your functioning, from the outside at least, seemed unchanged. Right? So it's still you, you still have all your memories, you've got all your, your expectations and desires and, and all your friends and your family think, well, nothing has changed, it's just now it's the kind of the indestructible version of you. Uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing left in there to get cancer or to, to go haywire, or if it does, it can be replaced. But uh, it's, it's hard to argue at that point that the lights would just by definition have gone out because the computer you're using is no longer made of meat. And um, that's what you have to argue to doubt that artificial intelligence and artificial consciousness is possible. Because uh, you, have to, you have to assume that there's something magical about uh, the wetware we have in our heads and that it c couldn't be emulated in silicon. But we know that, that as from an information processing point of view, anything that can be done in a biological system can be done, can be emulated in a digital one. Uh, so it, it does seem just a matter of time uh, before we, we do that. Uh, but again, until we understand exactly how consciousness arises in the physical world, uh, it's quite possible we could be walking into a situation where our computers pass the, tur the Turing test and more. Our, our computers are every bit as compelling as other people are in terms of their demonstration of a, a point of view, and yet we won't know whether or not there's something that it's like to be what they are.